just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like God I made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven Right and graven Shout out to Graven Team, keep it clean. Man, it's crazy because I tried to record this podcast, this particular episode right here, like uh, twice. I tried to record it twice over the past like four days, but whenever I would try to record it, something always came up. Every time. Well, it was only two times, but something would keep coming up. So I was just like, okay, well, I guess it ain't meant to be, man. But now uh, we're here. Uh, voice is <laughs> Voice is slowly coming back. It's getting there. It's, it's better than what it was. Um, probably shouldn't even be doing this podcast, but it's all good, man. It's okay. Um, things are going pretty good. I, I hope things are going really well with you all. Um, there's been a few little changes on the channel. Uh, I'm sure some of y'all have uh, noticed them. But as far as the the Engraving Viz channel, not really on here. I am thinking about implementing some different changes on here. We'll see. It all just depends on how I feel. Because I don't want to ever um, overload my plate. And I don't want to, because I've been a victim of that before. I've seen a lot of people fall victim to that before. Um, especially when they're starting something new. When a lot of us start something new, we're like, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to do this, 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 we're going to do this. And we list all these things that we're going to do out of excitement, which is, is fun. It's like, oh, yeah, I, I can't wait because I'm getting ready to take on this new adventure, this new journey, this new whatever it may be. But then when we actually start doing it, we realize, oh, man, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Oh, man, I'm trying to do this, too. It's, just, it's, it's all just tough. So it's tough to manage so many things. So what I don't want to do is overset uh, an expectation uh, for future plans. Uh, and, and one of those things, I don't, I don't mind sharing with y'all, uh, one of those things that I was thinking about doing on this channel, on the podcast channel, was actually having the, uh, the face cam on while we do the podcast. And because I'm like, I, I, that would be a nice aspect of it because it wouldn't, it wouldn't really be about like raving stuff because, you know, we obviously got the face cam on for all of those, but it would just be just us talking. Um, but then I thought about, oh, what if, what if it's a day where I don't even feel like putting the camera on? What if it's a day I don't even feel like really getting dressed or nothing like that? And not that I'll be getting dressed up or wearing no fancy clothes or anything like that, but you get what I'm saying? Like, what, what if it's just a day where I just don't? So I wouldn't want to set an expectation where it's like, okay, um, if I start doing face cams, but then there was a day where I didn't feel like doing a face cam, but I did feel like doing a podcast, and then there'd be that, um inconsistency there will be that inconsistency to where it's like okay um are we gonna get a face cam today or is it just gonna be the audio today what is it gonna be so i don't want to do that now that i say all that out loud could do like mm, nah i was about to say like a face cam a month but i mean we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll, we'll see how everything goes man um it's just I, I just a lot of times i have a lot of thoughts of things that I want to do in my head, but at the same time, like, um, I don't always act on all of them because, like I said, I just don't want to overcommit because I, I just, I don't want to drive myself crazy with trying to do so much because we have a pretty good flow of things. Um, we're usually always uh, backed up. We're usually always behind um, on work, but it's a good problem to have. Uh, things are always busy, but they're, they're, going, they're going really good. And, and I appreciate you all uh, supporting. Like I always say, man, I, I seriously appreciate the fact that you all are willing to give us uh, so much time in your life. Uh, literally every day. Every day. Because since we make videos every day, we post videos every single day. Some people watch them every day. Some people might watch them every other day. Whenever you can, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I got to watch myself because... Um, excuse me. Uh, I had to drink some water. 
uh, I got to watch myself because, or I got to stay still. Because now, I'm sure y'all have seen it <clears throat> in a lot of the videos, I got a new, a new microphone. And the reason that I got a new microphone was because um, my old microphone, it, and some people, like a lot of people will say about the old microphone, the quality was good on it, it's really good, and it was. And I was like, man, like, some people thought, oh man, how much did you pay for that microphone? The audio, is, it sounds so good, it sounds clear, it sounds crisp. It was a $20 microphone off of Amazon. $20 mic off of Amazon. But for what I wanted to do with the setup uh, in the room, I didn't want to be so close all up in the camera. Um, I wanted to be a little further away so I could do more with the camera. Because I haven't really, or I hadn't really been maximizing the camera's potential. So I really wanted to uh, just do more with it. Um, so that led me to get an aux cord. So I got an aux cord. Again, that, that was maybe like $5 off of Amazon, but an, an aux cord extension. So, so I could have more space from the microphone, uh, the cord that connects to the uh, camera from the microphone. Because the one, the cord that came with the microphone, it was only like, man, it was, it was short. It, it, couldn't, it couldn't stretch very far. And for what I want to do with the camera, I needed, I needed, to, be, I needed to be backed up. Um, so I got the, uh, the extension. But with the extension, when I first got it, it worked fine. It worked great and all that. But then there was just one particular day where um, I recorded a video. We recorded a video for like maybe like 15, 18 minutes. I don't, I don't remember how long it was, but we were going for a while. The video went great, it was smooth, everything was fun. Um, so then I went, I went to listen to it. I went to upload it and listen to it. And it, it, the audio was all messed up because of the microphone. But it was not the microphone, but it was because of the aux cord. And I was like, oh boy, I just bought this aux cord. How is it messing up already? So then I recorded another video that same day. And then it did the same thing. And I was like, okay, this, this, this ain't it, man. Um, so then later, uh, later on that same day, that's when I recorded a video off of my phone. I don't know if any of y'all remember. Um, but I recorded a video off of my phone. And um, then that's when I started like, looking around for mics and stuff. Uh, but it turns out that the aux cord, it still works. It still works. So I still do use that mic sometimes when I do record videos. Um, but I also use uh, this new mic as well. But this new, new mic, it picks up everything so if i'm in the background and i'm messing with my phone if i'm messing with a rubber band or something if i'm picking up a cup or anything like that it's gonna hear all of that like all of that so i gotta make sure i uh i sit still and i'm not too loud with everything uh but it's all good um <clears throat> but another thing with this new mic whew, it has made recording uh it, it's made it a little bit more difficult because it just adds an extra step uh, because with the mic and, and maybe it's just that I don't know how to, to how to do it yet uh, so that that could be it uh, so that, I, didn't, I didn't think about that maybe that is it but I don't know how to um, when I record videos now like when and, and I use this mic I have to <laughs> I have to record the videos and record the audio both separately. Then I have to sync them up. So it's not a big deal, but it's just a little extra step that adds a tiny bit of extra work. But it's, it's all good. It, it, it ain't no problem. But with this microphone, it does allow me to do what I wanted to do with the camera. And I don't have to be like all right in front of the camera uh, with all that. So it, it's, it's cool. And I will um, hopefully I can figure out something to where... Um, I could, <clears throat> if I could find out something like an app or something online where I could record the, the video from the camera and then the audio from the mic all in one and it's synced up already. I don't have to do like, I don't have to sync it up myself. That would be great. And I've seen, there are some apps, uh, I've seen one on, on my actual computer, but it lowers the quality of the camera. That's the only thing that I don't want to happen. Um, <clears throat> well, that's one of the biggest things that I don't want to happen. Because I want the quality of the camera to still be there. But I still want the audio and still want to sync those. So anyway, again, s small problems. 
not a big deal. If if I can find something, if any of y'all know anything, please let me know. Um, if not, it's it's still all good, man. Um, but I wonder if this if I wonder if this microphone just picked up my wife sneezing just now, cause she literally just sneezed. She just sneezed. Um, but anyway, shout out to the patrons. Shout out to the patrons. Uh, we just started a, a Patreon. Um, it was something that my my guy Reg he had actually suggested. He's like, hey, why don't you just start? Why don't you start a Patreon? No, oh, uh, I wonder if this camera just picked up Carter cracking up at SpongeBob. Um, but we we started a Patreon, and, and I was just um, I don't know. For for me, I, I always get like just crazy like shocked at at, at how supportive um, Team Keep It Clean is, man. I, I but I appreciate it like crazy um, because we started the Patreon page and like right away so many people just they were willing to to support it they were willing to help out they were willing to um to show just that extra that extra level of support and I was just like wow I was telling my wife I was like wow that's it's, it's crazy man it's crazy that people just they're so willing to to help you out and, and willing to um people believe in you and people are they, they they rock with you and they 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 mess with you heavy and, and they um they really support and like is we there's a lot of uh support obviously through uh on the channel as is but to see the support um, through different avenues of things, so like even with, with the with the podcast. With let me check right now, man. Let me check right. We had 840 as of this recording. We had 841 subscribers, man. So we are 159 away from 1,000. 159 subscribers away from 1,000, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. One thousand fifty. I mean, whoa, I mean, whoa, 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 whoa! One hundred fifty-nine away from one thousand subscribers. That's I don't know what we're gonna do for a thousand subscribers, but we got to do something because I, I really appreciate it, and that's really special to me. So I, I'm I'm excited for when we do hit that mark. So that's gonna be really cool. Um, but real quick, I gotta give a shout out to the patrons. Um, no gimmicks. Shout out to no gimmicks, and I'm not sure if uh, well, I know. I know at least my guy Cam, Cameron N. I know he uh, listens to the podcast. So I appreciate you, Cam, for uh, for being a patron. I'm not sure if any of the other patrons uh, listen to the podcast, but if you do, hey, thank you, thank you. Uh, shout out to No Gimmicks. Um, shout out to uh, Cam, Cameron N. Uh, shout out to Marquita, Tank, Gary, Buddy, Jerome, Jow, Davis, uh, my boy King Lou, Isaiah, John. Uh, Garrick, Ball So Hard, Yolanda, uh, Stephen, Stephen H, and Stephen M. It's funny because they became patrons like uh, like back to back. Um, one, one guy name was, and, they, and it's crazy because they spell Stephen the exact same way. They spell it S T E P H E N. Both of them do. So that was crazy. Uh, so Stephen H and Stephen M. Shout out to my guy Stephen M. I, I, um, I met him. I want to say three years ago at Ravens training camp. I think it was three years ago. Cause uh, yeah, it wasn't this year, and it wasn't um, it wasn't this year, and it wasn't last year. So it's the year before last year. Um. So anyway, uh, shout out to him, real cool guy. Um, and uh, he he got a big family too. Shout out to him, cause I remember uh, he was he was getting ready to have a daughter. Uh, and um, so yeah, she should be like I think she's like two now. So, but yeah, he got a fair, shout out to him, man, for just keeping supporting over the years. So I appreciate it, man. And shout out to Kevin, uh, and shout out to Harry. L literally, Har Harry, while we were recording this, because he literally just became a um, a patron literally nine minutes ago. We've been recording this for about fifteen minutes. He became a patron nine minutes ago. So shout out to my guy Harry, uh, Harry H, um, the third. He uh, he be dropping some fire questions from subscribers, man. So when we do do the uh, the 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 patron only questions from subscribers, I already know that he is um, he gonna be bringing. Cause he brings it already. 
But I know for that, yeah, he definitely going to bring it because that's going to be like the, the patrons platform for whatever questions they have, whatever they looking to get answered and whatnot. We, of course, still going to do the, the normal question from subscribers, but for, for the patrons, um, that's just going to be something special uh, just, just for them, their own episode of it. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I appreciate it. And like I always say, man, if, if you're not a patron, please don't feel bad. Please don't feel bad. Do not feel bad. Do not feel guilty. Do not feel any kind of way. Please don't. Because that there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it. You watching the videos, commenting, liking, subscribing, telling people about it, whatever you're doing, uh, so the support, I appreciate it either way, man. I, I appreciate it a lot. So thank you. Um, I hope everybody out there <clears throat> is continuing to protect their energy. Uh, one of my guys, one of, I'm going to just call him JB because I ain't going to put his name out there. It's not my, my guy JB Smooth, though. Shout out to him. But one of my guys, JB, um, he was just telling me. He was like, man, um, he, he was telling me about how he had to protect his energy uh, because I, I guess so, so, some people at his job, man, because um, his job is he, super busy. Um, and he, he said that uh, listening to the podcast and stuff and just getting watching the videos and all that was helping him get through the work week because he was super busy at work. But um, whew, he said he, he wrote protect, about protecting his energy. Uh, he wrote about it in his notebook so he would see it every single day. <laughs> and I, I was like, hey, man, it's, it's true. It's true. We need reminders because we got to do it. Oh, comment of the week. It actually was last week. It wasn't this past week, but well, anyway, comment of the week because I, I always got to share with y'all when, when we get a funny comment from somebody who uh, just looking to complain about something. I forgot what video it was, but somebody was like, um, what'd they say? Oh, okay, because it was, uh, oh, what was the video? A video where... Um, Lamar was saying, well, well, we were talking about how Lamar was saying that he felt like he did too much in the last playoff game, in, in last year's playoff game. And what I said, I was like, well, I don't feel like Lamar was trying to do too much, but I just feel like he was just overthinking things. And the person was like, well, he was like, no, oh, you, uh, you say he wasn't trying to do too much, but he was overthinking things. And you talked about the, the fourth down play where he went for it. Um, but that, that that's him doing too much. So you're already contradicting yourself. That part, no problem. Well, I mean, he could have pointed it out nice in a more respectful way, but that part, not a big deal. Wasn't no problem. But then, <laughs> but then he followed it up. He was like, see, that's what you get for, uh, for, for you. That's you trying to do too much. Um... In your videos and he said you always try to do too much in your videos you always trying to uh, analyze this and analyze that like like you're trying to get a job at ESPN or something and I was thinking like hold up if I was trying to get a job at ESPN how is that a bad thing <laughs> like <laughs> like <laughs> I was thinking like how is that that's that's a compliment if anything like thank you how is that a bad thing and, and like like I said, man, is people will find literally anything to complain about, and try to turn anything into a negative, anything, anything. Now I know ESPN, they um, whew, some of the anchors on there, some of the hosts on there can be a big yikes. They they can be a huge, they can be a huge yikes. Um, but not that, like that's not a bad thing. It's like you, oh, you act like you're trying to get a job at ESPN or something. Well, like, is is that supposed to be bad for me? Is that supposed to be like a, a this or something? So, um, <laughs> so, um, so, so, um, initially, I, I started to write back. I started to respond. I had typed out part of a comment, but then I was like, wait, hold on, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Protect your energy. Protect your energy. So then I just erased whatever I wrote. I don't even remember what I wrote because it wasn't that much. Because the protect, pr me protecting my energy, that had came up in my head before I even really wrote anything. But I erased whatever I had wrote or whatever I had written. Um, and then, then I just blocked them. That was it. I just blocked them. 
And that was that. No response. No uh, thing. No, nah, no. Nah, nope. Just block. Block and move on. Block and move on. That was it. That was done. Because, again, something that I talked about in the last episode of the podcast, with, especially with protecting your energy, you, you have to, um, if you, people will give you signs. They'll, they'll show you patterns. Um, they will, uh, they'll let you know, they'll let you know either what's coming or what, ha what has already been there. They'll let you know that. So what he let me know from his comment and when he was like, when he said, uh, oh, like you always do in the videos, you always overthinking and you always trying to do too much in the videos. When he said that, that let me know, hey, okay, so he feels like this about multiple videos. Because if it was just this one video, then he would have been like, oh, well, I feel like you was overthinking a bit in this video. You were trying to do too much in this video. No. He said, like you always do in all your videos. So, apparently he's been watching. And he feels a certain way. And he let it be known. So, boom. That was it. Blocked. Moved on. And that's it. End of story. So, <clears throat> I, was, um, I was happy with the outcome of that. Because I, 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 I gave myself a little pat on the back. And I was like, hey. Hey, self, you protected your energy. And that was it. Done. So that was the only comment <clears throat> that stood out from last week. I, I, uh, I, don't have, I don't have any more from this. I'm trying to think of anything, but mm, I really can't. Yeah, I can't think of anything. So that was that. I, I had a, there was another comment, but it wasn't like it wasn't a big deal. I put it on Twitter. When um, it was more so uh, football, it wasn't really protecting your energy. It was more so um, football, uh, just a bad take. Um, just No, just a lazy take, I mean, a lazy take. Because the guy, he had commented on a video. Oh, he's a Titans fan, by the way. And he was like, um, he's like, y'all acting like y'all just won something. And I responded, I said, we did. We won a playoff game. <laughs> that's, like, that's big. That is something. That's that's huge because it's a it's the playoffs. You either win or you lose. Ain't no ties. Ain't no oh let's come back next week regroup. No, let's come back next week refocus. No, you win, you keep going. You lose, that's it. You on vacation. It's oh okay. See you next year. That's it. So <clears throat> and and he was like oh well, well what what player y'all gonna call if Lamar Jackson goes down. And then after that, I just I just told him I said okay. Well, I, I, I said that I said that's it. That's uh, that's where you're going. Like, and and I just feel like that's so lazy. That's like the, the one of the laziest types of uh, takes that somebody can say. And not even just about the Ravens, because I feel like mo most people I feel like most people they done already gave that one up. But I see he's still holding on to it. But you could literally say that about any single team. Any single team. Well, most of them. <clears throat> you could say that about 99% of the teams in the NFL. What, what would they do if their starting quarterback went down? Like, th th there's a reason that most of these guys are starters. Some of them is by default. But you, there's a reason why these guys are starters. They are starters because they, they were the best. They were the best. They gave their team the best option to win. So I just when when somebody says a take like that, it's like really that. What do you, what are you gonna do if Lam what play what, what are you gonna call if Lamar goes down like that? That's why I just stopped replying after that. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah all right, I'm out of here. Cause I, I I don't never mind a conversation. Hey, you y'all know that I don't never mind a good conversation about whatever. But <clears throat> if that's gonna be if it's just gonna be a lazy one like that, I'm like, okay, no, nah, ain't no point, ain't no point. So that's like, that's not even protect, <laughs> that's not even protecting your energy. That's just protecting your time, cause it's a waste. It's a waste. What's the point in going back and forth about something like that, man? Cause if we're gonna do that about the Ravens, like let's let's do that about every single team. Cause I gotta say, oh, what 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 happens if Titans go down? What play y'all gonna what, what y'all gonna call them? And then I, I think somebody responded, oh, what, what if Henry goes down? What y'all going to call them? 
So you you could say that about any significant impact player on any team, and yeah, it's just just lazy, man. But so it is a uh, it's divisional round weekend. Ravens won their first playoff game in like six years. Um, it was great. Uh, <clears throat> just it was super fun. I'm I'm looking forward to this weekend against the Bills. I I have a lot of confidence in the Ravens. I'm still I'm gonna get nervous later on in the week, but I still do uh, think the Ravens are gonna win, and I think they're gonna win by at least nine. Um, with the Ravens last week, I, I thought that they were gonna win by at least ten, and they should have. But there there was some oof. It was Ravens against the the Titans and the referees too. Because they were making just, a lot of the calls in that game were just terrible, man. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. They, <clears throat> some of the calls and non-calls in that game, it gave the Titans six points. So it gave the Titans a touchdown um, on the non-push-off call. Uh, it took away first downs from the Ravens, like the offensive pass interference they called on Willie Sneed. Um, that, took away a, uh, that took away a first down uh, on fourth down. That took away a first down on fourth down. Um, and shout out to Lamar, man, because, and I, I said this in the post-game thoughts video for the game, that I got to trust Lamar. Because with Lamar, whenever he waves the, the special teams off the field and say he want to go for it, he gets it every time. Every time. So that's, this is it's his team. It's his team. I mean, it was definitely his team last year, but it's, like, it's really his team. He calling the shots. Um, so that was significant to see. I, I had loved that. Um, but this is gonna be a it's gonna be a fun game. I think the Ravens' offense should be able to do a lot more against the Bills' defense. Um, it's like for the Bills, I feel like the Bills are a tougher team, but at the same time, some some stuff about them is better than the Titans. Some stuff is worse, but I just feel like the Ravens on offense they're gonna be able to do a little bit more. They're gonna be able to do more. So I, I'm looking forward to it. Saturday night football, Saturday night prime time, eight fifteen, and <clears throat> I know my wife was saying that um, she was like, "Oh, maybe on Saturday." Uh, she, and she was like, "Obviously, way before the game, early on." She was like, "Maybe uh, we could go ride around somewhere, the three of us." And then I was like, "Hmm." I said, "Hold on, let let me check to see what other game is on that day." Cause I know it's an NFC game, but I didn't remember which one, whether it was Saints or whether it was the Packers. So I looked, and it was the Packers and Rams, and I was like, "Hmm, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. We we could go ride around somewhere." <laughs> so, cause I just I don't know, man. Like y'all know I love football, but this and I, this game is probably gonna be a good one. I, I'm probably gonna uh probably gonna look at it, but I'm not gonna be like. So like pressed to uh to see it, I ain't gonna be so pressed to watch it live or anything like that. Um, I got good friends. I got some of my boys that that are Packers fans, that are Rams fans, all of that. Um, well, only one of my boys is a Rams fan. He's like the only Rams fan I know. I for, I forgot like how he even became a Rams fan. Uh, I don't even remember. But I might have to have him on the podcast one day so I could talk to him about it. But <clears throat> excuse me. But um, hmm, I just that game is like whatever to me. I do think the Packers are gonna win, but it should be a good one. It'd be fun seeing Jalen Ramsey, Ramsey versus Devontae Adams. That would be really fun. That would be fun. But yeah, Ravens play Saturday night. Ooh, then oh Sunday, and I love that it's at three o'clock. It's at three o five. Shout out to Miami. The Browns versus the Chiefs. That game is going to be a good one too. It's gonna be a good one. And then uh, the Bucks versus the Saints. That should be okay, too. So, we'll see how everything goes, man. We'll see. We should do a preview for the Browns and Chiefs game. That'd be something. Um, but, <clears throat> anyway. The team keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate you listening. Uh, thank you for, uh, for, like I said, supporting, man. Uh, make sure you follow on Instagram. Twitter, all that stuff is Engraving Vids. Uh, of course, the other YouTube channels, Engraving Vids, but I'm sure most of y'all probably came from there. Uh, but but thank you for being willing to just sit around, hang around, and listen. I appreciate it. Um, subscribe to the, the the podcast YouTube channel. Uh, if you if you want to become a patron, uh, it's in the description. 
of the all the videos or even on this channel too on the podcast channel as well uh, so I, I love y'all and I, I just thank you for how special you are um, and, and and how special you uh you all really make this whole thing because uh, y'all are just as big of a part of it as I am um, yo you all contribute so much uh, with the questions from subscribers with the comments with always bringing up good points um, with always uh, showing me things that I missed because uh, there's a lot that I miss uh, but y'all always let me know about it so I appreciate y'all love y'all uh, I'm gonna go drink some tea and relax now <laughs> appreciate y'all we out Shout out to